The line between humans and machines is getting thinner by the day. Boston Dynamics Atlas moves with such natural skill that it can run, flip, and even break dance, while a robot dog in Sweden is learning to adapt like a real animal. At the same time, robots are now diving to extreme ocean depths, brewing coffee in busy kitchens, and even securing buildings with facial recognition. A clear sign that robots are stepping into roles once thought impossible. Let's talk about it. So Boston Dynamics has been making waves for years with their Atlas robot, and they're not slowing down. Atlas has been showing off moves that seem almost human, though it's clearly built with advanced engineering. The latest videos show Atlas running with a smooth, natural motion. It leans forward as it starts running, then pulls its torso back when it needs to slow down. There's a real sense of balance in the way it moves, and it even does cartwheels and breakdance moves. What's really neat is how Atlas uses its swiveling joints. Its hips, waist, arms, and neck can all rotate 360 degrees. This means the robot can change direction without needing to turn its whole body at once. In one clip, you can see Atlas switching from a handstand into a round off and then standing up with its head turned backwards, which is just wild when you think about the engineering behind it. There's also some cool work coming out of China with a company called Unitree. Their G1 humanoid robot, which starts at a price of 16,000 US dollars, has been upgraded to do side flips and even jogs now after what they call an agile upgrade. You might remember that their earlier model, the H1, was the first of its kind to perform a backflip using electric motors instead of hydraulics. Even though the G1 is smaller and cheaper, it shows how different teams are pushing the limits of what humanoid robots can do. While Unitree's work is impressive in its own right, Atlas from Boston Dynamics has been in the game much longer and is still leading in terms of natural and dynamic movement. A big part of why Atlas can move so smoothly is the use of reinforcement learning. Basically, engineers run thousands of simulations where the robot tries different moves and it gets rewarded for successful actions. Over time, it learns to perform tasks like running, crawling, and even doing a cartwheel more naturally. The process is a bit slow because each move has to be simulated and refined, but it's all about teaching the robot how to balance and adapt to different environments. Now, Atlas isn't the only project that's getting a major boost. Boston Dynamics recently teamed up with the Robotics and AI Institute, RAI, to take things even further. This partnership, which started back in January, is all about making Atlas's movements more dynamic and human-like by improving the way it learns in simulated environments. In these simulations, every time the robot performs a move correctly, it earns a reward, which helps it figure out the best way to move in the real world. Because of this approach, Atlas can now do a sideways roll on the floor, perform a handstand with more ease, and even do a cartwheel with better precision. The team's focus has been on making every movement safer and more efficient, something that's become really important now that many companies are working on using robots in practical, everyday tasks. Back in 2022, Boston Dynamics and a few other robotics companies agreed that their robots would not be armed, and that decision continues to guide how these machines are developed for industrial and public safety roles. Now, Atlas can bend its legs backward and recover from a prone position with surprising ease. It can also rotate its head and torso a full 180 degrees. These moves are made possible by combining reinforcement learning with advanced models that let the robot adapt to more complicated environments. For example, the robot can reach into cluttered spaces or navigate around obstacles without missing a beat. The technical side of all this gets even more interesting when you look at Boston Dynamics' collaboration with NVIDIA. Atlas now runs on NVIDIA's Jetson Thor computing platform. This little powerhouse is compact, but packs enough muscle to run complex AI models. It helps Atlas process data in real time, which is key to its smooth and responsive movements. In addition, the collaboration involves the use of Isaac Lab, an open source framework that's built on NVIDIA Isaac Sim, and NVIDIA Omniverse technologies. Aaron Saunders, the chief technology officer at Boston Dynamics, has talked about how this kind of integration is essential for bridging the gap between what happens in a simulation and what the robot does in the real world. Boston Dynamics is also rolling out new AI capabilities for its other robots, like Spot, their well-known quadruped, and Orbit, 
which is their software system for managing fleets of robots and analyzing data. Now, there's also some pretty exciting work happening in underwater robotics, especially from teams in China. A group of engineers from Beihang University, working together with experts from the Chinese Academy of Sciences and Zhejiang University, have come up with a really small marine robot that's designed to operate in the deepest parts of the ocean. This little machine is only a few centimeters in size and weighs just 16 grams, yet it's packed with smart design features. The robot uses a soft actuator that relies on a snap-through action, which lets it change between two stable modes. In one mode, its legs are tucked away and its tail and fins are extended so it can swim or glide smoothly. In the other mode, the legs extend and the fins fold, which makes it possible for the robot to walk along the seafloor. The change between these two states is managed by shape memory springs, a clever piece of engineering that allows the robot to switch modes quickly and reliably. This deep sea robot has been put to the test in some really extreme conditions, one of the trials was conducted at the Haima Cold Seep, where it operated at a depth of 1,384 meters, 4,540 feet. In another test, it was sent into the Mariana Trench and managed to work at an incredible depth of 10,666 meters, 35,000 feet. The same tech behind its movement was also used to create a soft gripper, allowing it to safely pick up live creatures from the ocean floor. Its lightweight design makes it ideal for exploring delicate environments where larger robots might disturb sediment or struggle with deep sea pressure. All right, now there is a new AI powered robot developed by researchers at the University of Edinburgh that can make coffee in a busy kitchen, marking a big step forward in intelligent machines. Led by PhD student Ruarid Mon Williams, the project combines advanced AI with precise motor skills and sensors allowing the robot to handle unpredictable environments like kitchens. Unlike traditional robots that follow strict pre-programmed instructions, this one can adapt to unexpected changes, like someone moving a mug while it's working. The robot, equipped with seven movable joints, interprets verbal instructions, analyzes its surroundings, and even figures out how to open unfamiliar drawers to find what it needs. By blending reasoning, movement, and perception, the team's work highlights the growing potential of robots to manage everyday tasks that once seemed impossible. Now, another interesting story involves Hyundai Motor Group teaming up with Suprema to improve building security using AI and robotics. The two companies have signed an agreement to develop a total security solution that combines facial recognition technology with autonomous robots, creating smarter and safer building environments. This partnership has already seen success at Factorial Siangsu, Korea's first commercial robot-friendly building, where 53 facial recognition devices and a fleet of service robots were integrated to improve access control and mobility. The idea is to make security systems smarter by allowing robots to navigate freely through automated doors, speed gates, and elevators without manual intervention. By combining Hyundai's robotics expertise with Suprema's biometric security solutions, they aim to create a new standard for robot-friendly spaces. The project will also explore AIoT technology to improve services like food delivery and package handling within these smart buildings. Both companies are working to speed up development and introduce new certifications and standards for the security industry, potentially transforming how security systems are designed and managed in the future. Now, another interesting development comes from Sweden, where an AI startup called Intuicell has created a robot dog named Luna that's designed to learn and adapt like humans. Unlike traditional robots that rely on large data sets or offline simulations, Luna operates using a digital nervous system that allows it to develop naturally through real-world interactions. Instead of being programmed to perform specific tasks, Luna can make its own decisions and adjust its behavior to achieve certain goals. To train Luna, Intuicell took a different route by hiring a professional dog trainer to teach the robot how to walk. According to CEO Victor Luthman, this system doesn't require massive data centers or extensive pre-training. Luna is already able to stand and move on its own and its abilities will continue to improve as it interacts with the world around it. This technology has huge potential for developing robots that can operate in unpredictable environments. 
Robots like Luna could one day be used for deep sea exploration, disaster response, or even building habitats on Mars, all without the need for extensive pre-training to handle every possible scenario. Feel free to share your thoughts below, and if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.